What's up guys, Ricky Arnold here. Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're going to feature a gaming keyboard by a company called TechNet. It is their X705 mechanical gaming keyboard. So we're gonna take a quick look at this keyboard and then at the end, I'm actually going to be giving away this product just like my last video. So make sure you guys stick around to the end of the video and get the details on how that giveaway will work. Um, it's also gonna be linked in the description anyway. So uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and get right into this mechanical keyboard and see what it features. Let's go. Okay, so just starting off, yes, there are like a ton of mechanical keyboards all over the internet, just like this one right here. Um, but these guys got a little bit of a different design going on with theirs. Um, it does have the uh, 10 keyless design. There is no number pad, as you can see over here, no number pad right there. So it's a smaller form factor. It will take up less space on your desk. The exact size dimensions are 4.9 inches uh, wide by 13.6 inches long and then it's not even an inch high, so it's actually pretty low to the ground as well. So it will not take up too much space on your desk. It's a space saver right here. It even has a really cool little uh, wire hiding device down in the back right there so it can actually hide your wires. So it pretty much can go in a like minimalist design type desk setup, uh, which is really cool. I do like these kind of keyboards. Um, so let's go ahead and get into the specifications of this thing and uh, tell you guys exactly what you need to know about this keyboard. So one of the first things, as you can see, it is a rainbow LED lit keyboard and they are actually individually lit. Each key is individually lit as you, if you can see right there, you can see the actual LEDs are individually lit on each key. And um, unfortunately though, they are not uh, each addressable like a lot of uh, higher end keyboards are. This is only just one rainbow LED color in each line of the keyboard, as you can see, stays one color. So obviously purple, blue, green, uh, I believe uh, orange, red, white. Uh, so they stay that color, but there are a, di a bunch of different functions that this keyboard does using those rainbow LEDs. So I'm gonna show you that here in just a second. So like I said, there are six different colors in this keyboard, and but there are 12 different modes that you can actually do uh, with the LED lighting on this keyboard. and you basically just use this one key right here that has this little gear on it and you press it and it will change the different modes like this one is breathing and so on and so forth and I will show you all the different modes right now. different modes you can also adjust the actual uh, light and dimness of the keyboard uh, you simply just press the uh, function key down here and then you use your arrow keys to go up or down and it will adjust the brightness of the keyboard to your liking I personally would just keep it on full full light because uh, I think it looks really cool and it will give a really cool aesthetic to your uh, setup but that's just my preference so uh, it's good that it's there just to make sure that you know each person can do exactly what they want to do with it. Now on to the switches. So this keyboard features the blue mechanical switches. Now these are not Cherry MX switches. These are not genuine Cherry MXs. Of course, at this price point, you're gonna get some sort of clone, uh, but I do think they sound pretty good. They have a nice tactile feel and they're very nice and clicky. Um, so if you are into that kind of thing, then definitely go ahead and check this keyboard out because they have an awesome 
mechanical tactile feet feel to it honestly I'll tell people that the blue if you want the mechanical feel blues or browns are kind of where you want to go because they have that nice little uh, little noise that you guys are hearing right now so uh, not bad at all and then to actually take the keycaps off it's very simple uh, you basically either can use the included key puller that's on the back here or you can just pretty much take your hand and pull one off and then you can actually see the switch underneath and uh, see that it is a blue switch and you can actually see the uh, individual LED light on each of the keys. And then to just put them back on, you simply just line this little, let's see if I can get that to focus, a little cross right there with the cross on the actual keyboard key and press it in and push it back on. So I would like to think that you probably could get some aftermarket keys and put them on top of this or keycaps because the light does shine through each one of these keys. So if you get some upgraded keycaps, like maybe from Corsair or from HyperX or somebody like that, you could actually replace these and use different, uh, maybe different rubber coating uh, keycaps with these. So that is a possibility if you are into that. Another really awesome feature that I do like to see on keyboards that it is great that they did put it on a 10 keyless keyboard like this is all the multimedia functions. Uh, you basically just, again, press the function key and then you have all of your multimedia buttons at the very top on your F keys and you can uh, you know, put your music up and down, you can press play, plus press pause, pretty much whatever you would need is up there for you and it's uh, great to see on a budget keyboard like this um, at this price point. And taking a look at the actual ergonomics of the keyboard and the design, it's actually designed very well. It's just the standard 10 keyless layout um, and it's not too, not too crazy with the shape, it's just the normal keyboard shape right there with a little bit of dip towards the top and then uh, they do use this really cool look and it looks like a faux brushed aluminum type look with uh, with black on it um, it is kind of reflective so it may pick up your fingerprints so please be careful of that um, and then on the back like I said before it does have a little cable routing uh, spot right here so you can actually put your cable to either the right side of the keyboard the left side of the keyboard or the middle depending on what your uh, cable management setup is and then you do have these feet on the bottom to actually lift it and uh, change the actual wrist ergonomics of the keyboard itself. It does not include a wrist rest or anything like that, but uh, at this price point, of course, you're not gonna get those uh, extra features like that. And honestly, on these small keyboards like this, they usually don't come with a wrist rest anyway. So if you want one, you might have to get an aftermarket one to include with this keyboard. So the overall weight and sturdiness of this keyboard is pretty good. Uh, it's not super, super heavy like some of the keyboards I've reviewed in the past. Um, which can be a good thing or a bad thing. I mean, to me, I usually prefer them to be heavier because it, you know, usually, you know, denotes better quality. But um, this one's just, you know, made of basically plastic and then, you know, that fake brushed aluminum stuff. But, it, you know, it looks really good. Uh, at $30, I don't think anybody's going to be complaining about the build quality uh, because it does actually look really nice for the price that you're going to pay for it. So if I had some suggestions or just little things that maybe I would have done different on this thing, um, personally, I would have given them the, you know, the option to actually just change it to one single color. But uh, a lot of the um, a lot of the rainbow LED you know featured uh, mechanical keyboards at this price range don't do that. They're usually lit up like this in different sections. Uh, I believe I did one on the channel already from another company that did the exact same thing. So usually these are mostly just lit up like this. But uh, they do offer this. I'm pretty sure in just solid colors. So if that's what you guys are looking for, they do offer that too. So uh, link in the description for Amazon. And then maybe one other thing, just maybe add a couple different other you know. LED functions other than what they have because some of the other ones I, I personally would really never use them I mean the, this one right here is the one that I'd probably use the most the breathing effect That's the one that suits me the most but you know other people may you know disagree with that But there's a couple of functions that I've seen on other keyboards that this one didn't have uh, I remember I did another budget one that had a like a, a, a typing one where you could just type and all the keys would go crazy That was kind of cool to see on a budget keyboard, but uh, this one doesn't have that it does have the really cool like you know raindrop effect and stuff like that but um, it would just be kind of cool to see some more mainstream effects that you see on like the more expensive motherboards but you know again budget keyboard what are you gonna do all right so let me know what you guys think of this keyboard in the comments down below let me know if you guys would actually consider buying one uh, through the link I will leave in the description for you guys and also like I said at the beginning of the video I am going to be giving this one away to one of you guys so I'm going to have a contest linked in the description below so make sure you guys follow that contest link it's gonna have you go ahead and just try to go to my social media pages just make sure you guys like 
this video, make sure you guys leave me a comment, subscribe to the channel, and then go ahead and go to my social medias and follow me on those. And once you guys do all those criterias right there, I will uh, end the contest um, in about a week or so, just like the other one. And uh, as soon as that thing draws me a winner, I will make sure that you guys are subscribed to my channel and following me on my social medias. And when all of those criteria are met, I will go ahead and get in touch with one of you guys and I will send you this keyboard free of charge just like my other video with the headset. So again, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, make sure you guys hit those notifications uh, so you guys know when I come out with my next video. And uh, until then, I will see you guys later. I'm gonna go uh, click away on this cool keyboard. So see you guys later. Peace.